Hi and welcome to Digital Nomad Institute. In today's video, I'll be showing you a free text-to-speech Chrome extension called Read Aloud. And this is very useful for those who uh, want someone to read for you or for those of you who are looking to do a you know voice, a free voiceover uh, using text-to-speech, this can work for you as well. All right, so if you stay tuned all the way because there are some certain involved steps that you need to do, uh, you'll be able to use this software without any problems. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do when uh, downloading this is you need to go to the Chrome Web Store and you need to go ahead and type in the read aloud, uh, you know, read aloud into the search bar and this is what you need to look for right and once you have this you need to go ahead and add to Chrome and install it okay then you have to just click on add the extension and it'll pop up on your toolbar so let me just show you what it looks like here All right. and you, you should pin it so you can e easily access it All right so I'm just go ahead and pin it and for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to pull out an article so you can go ahead and see how it works. I'm here at Ezine Articles, and I'm just going to pull out, uh, let's see, let's check out this one right here. Um, so it says seven skills to look for before choosing an Android app developer. All right, and what you need to do is you need to click on the read aloud uh, extension right here and it will go ahead and read the article for you I'm gonna bring the microphone close to the speaker so you can get a better understanding of how it sounds seven skills to look for before choosing an Android app developer Android continues to dominate the mobile app market on a global scale now holding more than 80% of it over 80% of worldwide smartphone users prefer using Android mobiles and devices over the other operating systems like iOS and Windows. The Google Play Store is now staggering with more than 3 million applications now serving the users in different ways. All right, so that gives you a, you know, just a better understanding of uh, how it sounds. For me, it, it sounds quite good. Um, I'm quite amazed. Now, obviously, you know, if you add more grammar, punctuation, you can always make it sound more realistic. Um, but for the purposes of, let's say, you just want to you, you multitask, maybe you're you're on a treadmill or exercising, and you don't want to read, and uh, you just want to have something read to you, then this this can do it. It, it sounds. Uh, Does it sound like? A human voice? No, I don't. I don't believe it does. But does it sound like a, a completely boring robot voice? It doesn't either, right? It, it's actually much more expressive than the old, you know, robot voices, robo voices that you're used to. So um, applications that you can probably use this for is just you know, having someone read to you or having having this read to you while you're doing something else, multitasking. Okay, whether it's taking a walk, exercising, um, maybe possibly you know doing something else, you can have it read to you. Um, other things you can possibly use it for is to maybe do a voiceover for a video. You can type in text in a Word document and maybe have it read to you there. Uh, those are the two possible applications. All right, so let me go back to um, what. It, the extension is it's read aloud a text-to-speech voice reader and it's by isdsoftware.com okay and it has uh, 2,235 reviews and it's doing quite well 4.3 out of 5 stars so go ahead and look it up at the uh, you know, Chrome store it's it's completely free to use and as far as I can tell at this point there is no oops there's no restrictions okay so uh, you can go ahead and use it. And once again, this is what it sounds the like. The Google Play Store is now staggering with more than 3 million applications now serving the users in different ways. However, with this huge count of applications already existing on the Android App Store. Okay, so as you can see, it sounds very, very, like, uh, it sounds, you know, 
pretty pretty realistic, pretty expressive. Okay, so, uh, the only downside, and let me just cover some of the faults of this. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way to change the voice. It just seems to be a one voice that you can you know you can pick. Uh, but for you know all of that, it does it works well. It reads the article on your websites quite well, and it can I think it could serve as a uh, voiceover in a pinch. All right, so that's my analysis of this free text speech Chrome extension. Uh, if you found it helpful, could you please hit that like button as it really lets me know that this is the type of content you really like. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Suit, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.